This is number 7. We've got the integral of 8x to the 4, e to the x to the 5. OK, so this is one of those where you're looking for the interior function, which in this case is x to the 5. And that differentiates to 5x to the 4. And we've got a multiple of that on the outside. So we can do reversing the chain rule on this. Or you can use integration by substitution. The integration by substitution would be using u is equal to x to the 5, if you want to go through it that way. So if you want to do it by reversing the chain rule, that's how I'll do it first. So um, we know that uh, x to the 5 differentiates to 5x to the 4, but we've got 8x to the 4. So we've actually got 8 fifths of what I need. So 8 fifths of what I need. OK, now you can also see that as the coefficient of the x to the 4 when I differentiate will be 5. So I just do 8 divided by the 5. That's how I can get that. OK, now e differentiates and integrates, sorry, to itself. And so this will be e to the x to the 5 plus a constant c. It's actually that straightforward because if you differentiate that back, the derivative of the inside is 5x to the 4, which multiplies with 8 fifths to make 8x to the 4. e differentiates to itself, and so that differentiates back to that. OK? So if you want to do this by substitution, you can, if you're a little bit unsure about that method. So use u is equal to x to the 5. du by dx would be 5x to the 4. Rearrange that to get dx equals, so that would be 1 over 5x to the 4 du. So we'll have the integral of 8x to the 4 e to the x to the 5, which is u. And the dx is replaced with this, so 1 over 5x to the 4 du. The x to the 4s cancel. I have 8 fifths e to the u du. Now e to the u just integrates to itself, so this is 8 fifths e to the u plus c, and then put the u back in, so e to the x to the 5 plus c.